Hello and welcome once again to Hour One. As always, I'm Charlie, and this time I'll be checking out the game Cloudberry Kingdom on the PS3. As always, I'll be playing the first hour of the game and giving my thoughts and impressions on it afterwards. With that being said, though, let's get to it. Uh, enjoy yourself, King Cobbler. Actually, yes. Who'd have thought that killing a washed-up hero would be so much fun? I'm not dead yet. You would be if you had an actual neck to strangle. You're nothing but head. But head? I think you mean head butt. Ow! Seriously, Bob? You call this a rescue? Who said I was here for you, princess? Um, every medieval fairy tale ever written? What a lovely reunion. <laughs> Can I offer you some... What do you call a new neck has been flailing around in the middle of the sea? Bob! <laughs> I've got bigger fish to fry than you. Starting the timer now. Alright. Don't have a weapon. Okay. I... This... This may be the most... I... This is definitely the easiest game we've ever played for an hour one, I think. I... Wow! I... 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 Kind of feel insulted? I, I don't know what to expect into the game named Cloudberry Kingdom, but... This is... This is the kind of difficulty I expected out of, like, late 90s, early 2000s Flash games. I... This is super confusing. Like, is this all there is to the game? Okay, I died once, finally. But there's no penalty for death, as best I can tell. Okay, that's a C. A checkpoint? What the hell do I need a checkpoint for in this game? I fought one enemy, jumped over a bunch of stupid ass lasers. I... I... My brain honestly hurts, like... Normally the PSN Plus games don't suck! It just hit me and I didn't die! Why does this game even exist? Who does it exist for? 
Am I allowed to be mean to them? I've called some not games, not games before, but like, this is technically a game. There's challenge, there's winning, there's completion. I, I, this is less of a game than Ho Hokum was. Less of a completed feeling game anyway. I've never beaten the game during an hour one before. I think there's a chance I might do that for this piece of bullshit. Is this like someone's final project for beginner video game school? Like, it's, it's a functioning game. It's just not... And it's such a cruel intro in somatic too, with that whole, like, paper, cardboard thing going on, but... Chapter 2, The Hills. I'm... I feel like there should have been a story moment or something? Cool, why the fuck am I attached to a wheel? <laughs> no, seriously, why am I attached to a goddamn wheel? Best I do in this game is when I say it's motherfucking go time and just kind of wing it. No strategy, no nothing, just kind of, yeah, balls out wall, balls meet wall kind of bullshit. Best part of this game is the cheat system. Tiny Bob! Ooh! Another fucking bullshit modifier. But he's got ups, I'll give him that. So tiny. Game, do you understand you are not helping out with this, seeing as your guide falls faster than Mini Bob does? I can't believe of all the shitty games I've played, I'm giving this a full hour. There's like five songs in this game. I 
find it super sad. I actually kind of find this game fun in slow mo. Not because it's easier or harder, because it feels better. Damn it. Ah. Oh, thank God. Um. Ugh. All right, so, all right, so that's an hour. You heard the alarm go off. Um, I'm gonna get right to it. Uh, this is not a good game. Like I said at the top of this, this feels very much like some late '90s, early 2000s browser flash game. Like from the art to the play style to just the asset repetition. Uh, it's nothing about this game ever feels rewarding. Like the levels are short. So short that even if it's a hard level and you beat it, there's no sense of gratification. Like, it's like, it'd be like an obstacle, but there was an end zone after every obstacle. And the obstacle was like, run through these tires, cross this balance beam. I, I'm i not being totally fair, because some of these missions do, or some of these levels do have, like, a first start and a second part. But they're never, they're not long enough. Like, and part of me wonders, like, I'm on level 62 after an hour. I'm sure better people at this game could get a hell of a lot farther. Like, this is a long game level-wise, and part of me wonders if they just stitched, I don't know, like, five or six of these levels together if I'd be feeling a lot better about myself. Like, it's... They have checkpoints in the levels. Why not make the levels longer and therefore feel a little more gratifying? I... I I just really don't like this game. Like, it's it handles badly. It feels loose. Like, they make you... They tie you to a giant spinning wheel eventually. And that feels... And that felt horrible initially, but it explained why the game felt so slidey in some ways. And they took it away and made it feel super precise, but then it was... It, I, they never give you long enough in any of this game to get used to any of the modifiers. Like, the wheel was cool but had zero explanation of why the hell I was suddenly strapped to a wheel, and I'm in story mode, and all that's equally confusing because there was this kind of cool, really stupid, kind of shittily written, but cool-looking cutscene at the very beginning of this, and nothing since. And stuff just kind of seemed to have to like, oh, you're tied to a boulder now. Oh, you're mini now. There's clouds you can jump on now. I, I, it, it feels just like a level rush mode, not a storm mode. There's an arcade mode, maybe I should have gone with that initially, but I... If your story is just a cutscene, and then you keep changing stuff that makes it seem like there should be story tidbits in between, it, you're doing a real bad job of telling a story. It's... It, and sloppy is just kind of the general consensus I had for this game. Like, I have faced weird bug-eyed cow monster plant the bug things, and fire spinners... And pointy, shovey nail things. That's it. That's literally all the enemy variety in this game, aside from falling. And it's just been colored and repeated. Like, no, no different speeds, no different nothing. It's just the exact same thing, level to level to level, in different orientations. Which, for some games work, but for this one, it does not. Because this game just isn't fun. My first reaction was, holy crap, this may be the easiest game we've played for this for a video like this, and it gets harder eventually, but around, like, level 50, you have to get really far into this game for it to go from feeling too easy, to cheap and hard, to actually kind of challenging in a gratifying way, like, hell, I'm not even there, like, the mini Bob stuff was the first fun, like, I turned on the helping modifiers, like, slow-mo and path, because they made it fun, and they show there's an okay idea for a game buried deep in the bullshit here, because the fall of the bouncing ball game I made up in my head was more fun than the levels. And the, and the slow-mo makes it fun because this game is meant to be kind of played in an all-out, balls-out rush way. Like, the ball reinforces it. You're supposed to be trying to pull off some crazy things, which you just can't do as easily. And not as not as consistently even without the slow mo on. Like I wish there was a turn slow mo off, turn slow mo on 
button or something. That would be so cool to make this game so much more interesting. Because there's some really fun, interesting moments that you can have during slow-mo that you just can't reliably nail in single-player because of how bad the controls are. It's... Yeah, I... I uh, there's something cool buried here, but the presentation we got... It's just bad. Just bad. And... I can't recommend it. <laughs>